Hey guys, it's the Gwensi Dilmer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to show you a drawing implementation in VR. So I have a demo that I recorded while running on my Oculus Quest, so I'm just going to show you that. So open it up and I learned how to capture the position of each bone in my hand. So this is what I'm doing here is so I'm using a line render and then capturing each position as I move around with my hand and you can see that I'm drawing a house drawing different pieces and I'm also learn how to capture the different gestures on the with the fingers in this case I'm capturing the pinch on the index finger and I'm also drawing and that's what I'm closing my index finger and my thumb because I'm you know at that point he knows that that gesture is captured and then I'm drawing so the left hand has a red color line render and then the right hand has a white one and then I have a few issues that I still need to fix and then here I'm just going to try to draw you know a circle and then you'll see so I want to walk you through how this works in the scene that I have as a demo and then you know later on I'm gonna walk you through the code I still have some things that I need to fix so what I normally need to do to make this work is I need to search for the OVR camera rig so that's the first thing so I'm gonna drag and drop the OVR camera rig you want to make sure that you have it set up as 000 also make sure that this is set to quest and the hand tracking support is set to hands or is set to controller enhanced but we want to make sure the hands are included the next thing that i do is for the implementation that i have is i unpack this prefab completely and then i need to create what's called a via draw component and that component is the one that i'm going to be adding so i'll add that later we need to add another one that is called ovr hand tracking so it's the OVR hand prefab. So I'm going to be adding one to each hand. So, and it needs to be at the level of the anchor, not inside the left controller anchor. It needs to be right above it. So that's what I have there. And then I'm going to, let me just make sure that I select the right one. I want to do that as well for the right hand. And then make sure that, you know, everything is clean is zero, zero, zero. So the next thing that I need to tell the system is, is this going to be the left one or is it going to be the right one? So in this case, this one is going to be for the left one so the hand type is set to hand left on the OVR hand also on the OVR skeleton I also have a set on the OVR mesh so that's everything that we need to do there and then for the right hand I'm going to do exactly the same but I'm going to change these from being left to be hand right and also hand right here so that's all we need to do for you know prepping the actual mesh so that the OVR the actual device captures a hand and then it creates a mesh for our hands. So now for the implementation that I have, I'm going to be creating two game objects and I'm going to be putting them inside of the camera rig. They don't need to be, they don't need to be inside the components that I just added. I'm just gonna put it next to each one of these. So this one is gonna be the left, I'm just gonna call it VR draw and then left hand. And then I'll just copy that name and then we'll do the same thing and then I'll just rename it to be the right hand. And then just like I did on the other one, this needs to be 000. I guess I didn't do it on the other one, but I mentioned it on the other one. Make sure everything is clean at the same position because I'm gonna be capturing the position of the fingers. So what I need to do on these components is I'm gonna select both of these components and I'm gonna add a VR draw. So this is the implementation that I did for drawing. On the left one, I wanna make sure that I have the left, left selected. And then on the right one, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna be tracking the basically the right hand so the next thing that I need to do is I need to tell the system what the what the game object is going to be that I'm going to be tracking. In this case, if I'm doing the right hand, I'm going to be selecting this object. And then for the other component, I'm going to be selecting this object. So that's literally everything that I need to do as far as like connecting it to the hands. What's going to happen is the script is going to look at the bones on the hand. And I'm going to show you the, just that initial script. And then later on, I'll show you how I do the drawing. So, but before we do that, this component that I created also has a line material. So I need to select the line material. Like I show you on the demo, I have one that is gonna be for the, for the left hand. So that one is gonna be line left. And then on this one, which is gonna be the white color, that one is gonna be the actually line, line right. And I'm just gonna select that. And I can change this if I wanted to. If I wanted to have a different color, I can make it, you know, be red or, if I wanted to be yellow, I could do that as well. I'm just gonna leave it white for the right hand and then for the left hand, it's going to be red. So those are good to go. So let's go ahead and look at the initialization of the script so that you know what I'm using to, to capture the position. So I have a lot of different variables in here and this is an implementation similar to what I did 
in GitHub on my project called VR Draw. So if you want to look at that implementation, you can look at it. It's available in GitHub. If we go to GitHub and then Dilmar V and then under VR, VR Draw, you can look at that initial implementation. It's going to defer to what I'm doing now because this one is more of, you know, drawing with a controller where the one that we're doing right now is with our hands. So some of the implementation changes are included in here, which is I, I need to get a reference to the OVR hand and I also need to get a reference to the OVR skeleton because I need to get information about the bones. And that, that's what I'm doing here. I'm just saying, okay, this is going to be the bones that I need to track. And then I tell the system, okay, you know what? I want to get the ID of the bone, but the ID of the bone that I want is for the hand index one. So this happened to be the bone that I need to look at. And you can see if I go into the bone IDs, which happened to be an enum, this has a list of all the different bones that, you know, I can track. And to be honest, I, I Google this bone to see what bones that was. And that happened to be, you know, the tip of my, of the index fingers. And that's where I wanted to use where I was drawing. So that's honestly what I wanted to show you today. I'm going to be showing you more about the code as soon as I fix some changes. And then I'll show you the entire implementation on the next video. Thank you guys.